All right, this is the main couple of reasons why we don't defer. I learned from a great coach years ago, Jim Shields, one of the best coaches I've ever had. He used to be one of the coaches at Oklahoma State when I wrestled there. And uh, even to, to even to this day, a lot of the colleges don't defer at all. They pick bottom. And the reason is this. You know, I want to get my point as soon as possible because I like to build momentum in a lead. So assuming that some, let's just assume that somebody's going to get off bottom, which is not always the case, especially if I'm a great leg rider, which is a big emphasis of our leg riding. And that's the reason if you look at YouTube, you'll see our leg riding video clip and how you can accomplish your goals two years ahead of schedule, uh, in our opinion. And uh, about our emphasis on leg riding and leg riding camps and things. But um, for the most part, let's say I get a takedown and uh, you get an escape. I defer, you get away. Going into the third period is tied two to two. Now I get to be on bottom in the third period, but I'm one period more fatigued. Um, plus it's two to two. You're feeling good about the match. I'm feel, you know, and so am I, but it's tied. If I get the takedown and you get an escape, I pick bottom and get an escape, and let's assume there's no takedown in the second. Now I look at the score. Sure, you get your, your, your choice. I could care less. I'm winning three to one. I would rather be winning three to one in the third period than tied. And it doesn't matter who's on top or bottom. Anytime I look at that clock and I have the lead, that helps me. And anytime my opponent looks at the clock and he doesn't, that hurts them. So picking bottom and scoring right away when you're fresh and strong, building on the lead that hopefully you already have is, is, is vital in my opinion. Now the only time we'll pick bottom is, or that we'll defer is if you know, maybe your opponent is just a, a monster on top and um, you know, especially in youth wrestling where a kid can actually get turned. You don't see a whole lot of turns in the, the top high school guys. But, you know, I mean, you got to adjust your tactics a little bit. But for the most part, um, I'd probably say 98% of the time, hundreds of matches a year, we'll pick bottom. And the beauty of it is this. And I'm probably letting out a secret here. We usually don't let out, you know, I don't know, the most important stuff. We try to help our kids. But... Um, you know, if I get, if you get your choice, you're probably going to defer. So I get to be bottom. I should get to pick bottom almost 100% of the time because the rest of the nation defers in the second period. So the fact that I get to look at that score clock with a three to nothing or three to one lead going into the third period, it's huge. So um, we do emphasize bottom. And, you know, some people used to say, well, as long as you can get a takedown and get off bottom, you can win any match. That's not true. You don't see the Iowa Hawkeyes letting kids up like they used to. You know, when, when I gr graduated in the early 90s, uh, you know, even a lot of Oklahoma State guys let them up. Uh, Penn State wasn't, wasn't really, well, I guess they were top four in the nation back then. But, um, they're Matt wrestlers, but, you know, like Minnesota, Oklahoma State, um, Iowa, a lot of take them down, let them up wrestling. You don't see that. No one lets anybody up on purpose um, because guys are so good you have to be great on your feet on top and on bottom and um, so knowing this uh, the, you know the, the, the coaching advice from decades ago doesn't 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 gel right now um, and picking bottom and scoring when I can when I'm fresh and trying to build momentum and psychological you know the advantage there uh, that takes place it just doesn't make sense to defer in most cases